see as far around from video game heaven. They all ain't ready for this. I don't even know if I'm ready for this. Oh my god, what happened to your head, dude? Just wanted to give a shout out to everybody at Brotastic Nerdum. The Brotastics. You guys should be doing restaurant review. <laughs> this is uh, going to be tough for me to contain my giddiness on this one, actually. We're here today with uh, Todd Haberkorn, uh, Natsu himself. I am fired up now! Now I'm fired up! I'm fired up! Yeah. And, um, uh, thanks for sitting with us today. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I am curious. Are you excited for the upcoming conclusion of, of uh, Fairy Tales last <laughs> arc, but not... Not really? Yeah, it's kind of like it's about to go into like a DBZ super mode, mm -hmm. I feel like. But no, it's, it's been a, you know, some, I get a lot of uh, questions sometimes where they, they ask, did you ever see it going this, where it has gone and this far? And it's like, you never do. I mean, because I've done a lot of shows that have a lot of episodes, but this one has endured. And I think that it's because you know, from, from folks like yourself that have kept it alive and, and, and continued to watch it. And so that's been something that I'll always be grateful for and, and being a part of it uh, and meeting folks from all over the world that, that share this love of, of that show. And so it's great to see it can, to continue and come to this kind of semi-conclusion, kind of a la Return of the King style because we're going to be back in another series. But it's my, my one complaint is we need more action figures. I, I fully agree. With accessories. Yes. Like where's, where's Natsu's like flame shooter or something that you attach to his arm and it shoots little ridiculous I've plastic flames. I've been searching for statues down there in, in every convention I go to. There's one Natsu statue. It's always the one with the yep. one has got the fire and I yep. don't see anything else. And there's like one Urza. And there's a thousand DBZ ones, which and is awesome. Yeah. But it's like we can have a few fairy tale ones. Right. I don't know. What if I want to pose them so that they're punching exactly. each other? Exactly. Like, I, want, I want to see that. So we'll see what happens fight. as this next season kind of comes. Uh, so I, I've always been curious for shonen actors. Do you think if you got into a fight, you would call out your attacks in real life? I would deceive. I would call out attacks that I wasn't going to do oh. and then do another attack. That's that smart. would be my, yeah. I guess, so that would make me, I guess, a, a, a shadow warrior, sure. I suppose. That's what I would do. That's probably a good plan for like a real fight. I've seen it work one time. I've seen a, a, an attack call out work one time. There was a, a buddy of mine was talking to another friend there and he did like, threw a lasso down. He didn't really call it out, but he goes like, step in that. So essentially the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The dude stepped in it and he pulled it and he got him. <laughs> so it's like, I, I've seen it work one time. I said that the guy literally walked into that attack. Yeah, absolutely. Just, yeah, so he was told. Yeah, but it's so, exactly. I don't know if it would ever work again. Maybe it's the power of the lasso. I don't know. Maybe it's like a compelling like lasso. Maybe yeah. you just think, what's this really going to do? <laughs> yeah, and he totally did it. So we'll see. I mean, maybe, maybe it does work. Maybe I should try it. Next, next fight I have. Mm. Uh, so what are you working on right now? I just finished directing a show called Saint Seiya the Lost Canvas, which is on Netflix. Uh, we did that. We had great folks aboard, like uh, Cam Clark is, is uh, in it, um, Trevor Duvall is in it. We've got Damon Mills as uh, Hades, who also voices Frieza from time to time. Um, we've got, we've got a na guy named, there's, well, there's a lot of cool folks. <laughs> yeah. I like the... I'll let you figure that out. Yeah, there's a lot of... Good cool. tease. It's out now. And then uh, ReZero comes out next month. The second half, I play the main uh, villain in that. Uh, we're doing season three of Free right now. And we've got... Oh, gosh, what else is coming out? There's a lot of, a lot of things I'm working on. And I, don't, I guess WarioWare just came out. That was fun. And then next month... I don't know if I'm allowed to... I, I, so in saying this, I am not mentioning my involvement in it. Okay. I'm just saying that if you are a Destiny 2 fan, the next DLC package is something that I myself am going to pick up. Oh. If you are inclined to pick it up yourself, feel free. Okay. So if you play Destiny, maybe there's something cool in the next pack. There might be a maybe. cool thing in it. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Uh, so I, there's another thing that's coming out soon, and I don't know... But I, I'm curious. Uh, are we gonna see Jacko in the Burley movie? I think you're gonna be an appearance for you Jacko. You know what? I, I am down with that. I don't know when and why and how he pops up ever. I'm just, I'll get the call from the studio and they're like, hey, 
we need you for some Jocko. And I'm like, oh, okay. But I never know when it's happening. But the last episode that, that we did, I thought was, I was like, wow, that, that actually, I laughed out loud a lot at that one. It was fun. Yeah. The, uh, you know, with the little creature that I captured and then I stopped off on the planet for ramen and then he escaped and then it was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, we're, we're in the uh, mobile game, mm-hmm. the BZ mobile game. And so, the, well, I assume there's going to be some more purple-tided galactic. Well, good. Going. I hope so. I, Me too. Sometimes he's not around for a while. I'm like, oh, I, I really I know. like I don't that know guy. What's, I don't know what's go? going on with that. Uh, yeah. How much can you bench? It's a question that we ask everybody. Oh, ha. Well, when I, uh, when I made it more of a, because I, I do work out, but it's like it used to be this thing where it's like religiously I did it because I had time in my schedule. I was doing, I could do 245. Now, I could, prob- I could maybe eke out 225 once. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, hey, that's still good. It's good, but it's not where I want to be. But it's but it's also because like we're working on groovy shows and directing them, producing them, writing them, doing them. So, it's there's not that time for it. But I'm working on it. So Fairy Tales is actually my cardio show. Oh yeah. I will just I will just watch it while I'm on on the elliptical. Oh, and that's I can, great. I can just go for hours. Though. That's see, that's a good thing to have. I mean, when you have a show that you can you can dig and binge, absolutely. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. Uh, so you know, thanks for all of that. Yeah, getting me in shape. Um, Your heart. Uh, has there has there been a uh, a favorite line that you've delivered? Oh, that any it always uh, mystifies me when I hear Natsu talk about doing bodily harm to people that make Lucy cry. Because mm-hmm. I feel like he would go to jail if in other circumstances. Sure. To um, he's it's the director and I always joke about that. It's like. Oh, you made Lucy cry. Time to kill you. <laughs> and so it, it's that always. And, and even with that, they never get together. They never did one date. One. There's some tropes that I don't always agree with. Well, the, the never get together of the protagonist is always one of them. I mean, we got it. It's like when you watch uh, The Adventures of Lois and Clark. They get married and they get together. Mm-hmm. And you wanted that. Yeah. I want to see the wedding. So it's like, I want, I want, I'm not saying... Natsu and Lucy have to get married, but I at least want to see a little date. Yeah. Maybe some under the cover business. Right. I don't that's know. The, that's the episode he really wants to film, guys. He yeah. just said it. That's the, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, uh, anything, uh, anything you want to plug? Anything you want to promote? Well, these are, these are our brand new, these shirts right here. We do a, uh, throughout the year. We'll do periodic, like, month-long shirt campaigns. This is the latest one, Camp Habitat. I thought it would be a fun one. The next one's going to be an ugly Christmas sweater. Oh, excellent. Ugly Christmas hoodie, actually. And so this just came out, and I'm excited about this because I never get the shirts I design. And so we, uh, we work with these great artists, and then I just never end up getting a copy of them. So I'm just proud that I actually got one. Oh, I'm, I'm so. glad you got one of your own shirts. Yeah, so I, I, I managed to get one. And then uh, we're working on the design for the holiday hoodie. So that's fun. And in terms of other things going on, I mean, always, always love more social media love. So on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. He, follow him. He's fun on Facebook, guys. Uh, I'm, he, I'm trying to be. <laughs> well, thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, at Protastic. Um, it was a, an absolute pleasure talking with you. Hey, thanks for having uh, me. Of course, uh, anytime. And uh, I will be watching you forever. So I love it. Got a fan forever. Thanks. Yay.